uh, touched her feet and I said that I am sorry that I am not talking to you since two years or more. I don't know what happened in between. I just wanted to tell you sorry. So she was like, okay, I didn't had any problem with you. You were only not talking to me. And I was like, okay, I am not wrong. Still, I'm saying you're sorry and you're reacting like this. Then I went back to Nita and told, you are very wrong. I tell, uh, told her sorry and she reacted like this. It was a very big uh, brunt to my ego. Things like that. So she mentioned that, wait, wait and watch. You will understand what I am talking about. So after a day or two, um, in that phase, I was about to get married and the person I'm married to right now is Amit Bhandari. So he, uh, his proposal to me had came six months ago also, but my father and my family rejected it for some reasons and this proposal came again. At that time, I was like, uh, okay, let's see. And uh, things got in a good way. And today I'm married to him. And if you see my house and if you see the pictures I have placed on vision board, they are exactly same. I am going to post that pictures in this group. So you get a look at it. So that person was in front of me. That person came to my home. That person also gave me a proposal for marriage. But at that time, I was somewhere... Um, you say energetically I was um, attached to those rocks so I was not having a proper vision and not proper energies to say yes to my goals so when this uh, particular bondage of me got solved I uh, somewhere down the line felt to say yes and today if you see those two pictures or correlate those two pictures it was like a dream come true so if you understand this particular thing that your energies or your good things or your goals or law of attraction will only work upon you if you leave this uh, feeling of hatred of not talking to somebody or if you somewhere down the line complete this bond and leave that stone behind sometimes it happens that uh, in some people life if you are lucky enough these stones may convert into fishes for you so to magically heal your relationship, first you have to write things you are grateful about that particular person you are hating or not talking to or he actually don't exist for you. So write good things about him. What are you grateful to him? You will find some or the other thing. Then secondly, call him and say him sorry and things like that and talk to him regarding what you think can heal this relationship or else you say that i cannot talk to that person i don't want to talk to that person or things may mess up if i talk to that person then uh, you can do a thing that you uh, read uh, consider that person standing in front of you and read the things in front of the mirror uh, what you feel about him or what anger do you have about him and just let the energy vent out of yourself so you can do either by um, talking to that person or invisibly in front of the mirror the main motive is release that anger energy out of you and feel the uh, lightness within you Look, if you want your goals to be completed fast, you want anything in your life to happen good and that too at a greater intensity, uh, you want this magic to work for you very beautifully, this task is really amazing and a life-changing task. So just give it a try. Even keep your ego aside. Let the person react any way you want. Just go and tell him sorry and just turn your back off and release all your emotion and just say goodbye or you can get more attached to him whatever the way it goes but just going in front of that person will be a very good uh, completion of bond than that invisible thing but if possible uh, do anyways but uh, if possible give it a try to uh, go in front of that person if not possible you can do it by the mirror technique but uh, see this results of uh, letting the bond complete or leaving those stones behind is gonna make a major difference in your life 
and thirdly about the magical people who had made a major difference in your life are are acting like fishes in your life look they can even act like dolphins and give a greater speed to your boat but the thing is you are not appreciating the work they have done for you so today is the day uh, give you uh, give yourself time write down what you are grateful about that person uh, or time spent him uh, with him and or things they have done for you and things like that after writing it you can call them and say them things if you not possible then the mirror technique is available but the impact of that person standing in front of you and you are expressing him your real core emotion will really convert them in instance you'll see the difference in instant you'll feel happy and the energies around you will completely change